Today in this video, I'm doing a quick review for this new Sansi 40 watt white LED grow light. This is approximately 4,000 K color temperature. And a while back, I did a review for the 15 watt version. Uh, and this one here, I'm, I was very impressed with. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing a review video for this one, uh, you can click the link in the video description below. There will also be a 20% off coupon code for the 40 watt version here, uh, which will be there for a certain amount of time uh, if you click the link there and you try to use a coupon code and it doesn't work, let me know and I will remove it. Uh, so anyways, this light here, the 40 watt version, is actually only consuming 35 watts, um, while the 15 watt version is actually consuming between 14 and 15 watts. It fluctuates a little bit uh, depending on the meter that you're using. So there are two main differences between these. One is obviously the wattage and the other one is the lens type. On the old version here, the 15 watt version, uh, it has clear lenses and the 40 watt version is diffused or milky lenses. And what that basically does is on the 15 watt version, it takes what little wattage it actually is consuming and it is efficiently delivering that light into a concentrated beam. Um, so you can use less wattage and get a lot more light output depending on how you deliver that light. So this is really good for small plants, small house plants, supplemental lighting, small herb gardens, bonsai trees, stuff like that. And I've been using it for things just like that, and I really like it. Passive heat sink, ceramic, um, you, don't, you know, no moving parts, no fans to go bad, no noise. That's what I really like about this one. And it's the same thing with the 40 watt version, but this 40 watt version puts it into a whole different class. Uh, you can actually use this for for small grows. Uh, so what I what I mean by that is actually like a two by two grow tent or something smaller. Um, you can actually grow a pretty decent amount of uh, plants with this. So if you wanted to grow like a, a, like a smaller herb garden, um, obviously the footprint's not gonna be very big with uh, this kind of light where you're not spraying it over a larger area. But for a few plants, a couple heads of lettuce, herbs, um, even small tomato plants and pepper plants, you can grow from start to finish with just this light. And the actual consumed watts is 35 watts, which I tested with my, uh, my watt meter. And what's really great about this is that I compared it to a 50 watt LED, which is 50 consumed watts. And it's actually a light that I've used before. I have it right here. And this light is giant. It's this giant outdoor floodlight. It has a single cob in here, which uses 50 watts from the wall. And I was using this, and I've gotten pretty good results with this light here. And so I decided to compare it with a PAR footprint so I actually took measurements from 6 inches from one light and 9.5 inches from another light to start uh, the PAR measurements. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to start so that the PAR output was around the same for both. So I can see how much it reduces based on height from that point or increases on the spread. So starting at 600 micromoles is a good range because if plants grow to a certain height, um, even just a little bit above that, and they start getting to 700, 900, or 1,000 micromoles, you're going to start burning the plants. So 600 was a good starting range because you're you're not really going to put them any closer to that anyways. Then I raise it up uh, to 12 inches and then 18 inches, and you can see that on the chart here, the light spread on the 18-inch perimeter is actually pretty comparable to each other. And you can see that as you increase from 12 to 18, that in most cases, the light output actually starts to decrease anyway. So between these two lights, the Sansi light uses 35 watts only compared to the 50 watts, and you get a much better PAR output, especially in the center region. So this light is really good uh, for those people who don't want to buy a grow light that's more expensive for a light that's like this, having this you know, big or expensive grow light, and you just want to do a small grow. Um, or just want to use it for a few plants. Maybe you don't want to have that kind of elaborate setup. This light is great for that. And for the current price of only, uh, I believe it's $40, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, and it's something simple you can screw into any light socket and you'll be on your way to doing what you want to do. So that's about it for this review. I hope that helps anyone out there who might want to buy one of these lights. Uh, for the price, it's, it's a pretty good deal. And you may not want to buy a larger grow light and this might be all that you need. Um, so in my personal opinion, I would say, yes, this is, this is definitely going to work for you. So that's about it for this video. Hope it helps. We'll see you in the next one.